Hey everybody, welcome back to more Panzer Paladin. Last time we hit the mean streets of New York City, which I still feel like it should have been Las Vegas since the fact that we defeated a succubus there. But we got Lilith's weapon, and now it's time for us to go vacation down to Mexico because we gotta go deal with... McLantic Cutley. Yeah, what Future Me just said. Or, I guess technically it'd be past Future Me. Oh well. Either way, we're going to Mexico, so let's head on down there. Two arms, all right. Now, before we do anything, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do something a little bit risky. I'm actually gonna unequip all of my weapons and go into this barehanded. Because I do wanna try and save some of my weapon, weapons to get some upgrades. So, for the time being, we're, ju we're just gonna go in there and give everything a good pounding. Please don't take that out of context. Okay, maybe, maybe deal with the dog down here real quick and, and this spear warrior. But now we're gonna be able to deal with everything, no problem. Okay, well now I gotta actually get a, a sword weapon because... Oh, we got a new weapon hidden in there, and I believe that's a weapon that does heavy or large healing? Or was it attack up? I don't remember which one it is. Uh, where is it? Medium heal. Huh, I feel like a, a type of weapon because it looks like a, the clubs, it should be large heal. Oh well. Uh, this place has spiders, I do not like it. If they're supposed to be the size of Grit, then I really don't like the implications of that because Grit's supposed to be like... I think about as big as a small house, if New York was anything to go by. So the fact that there are spiders roaming around in this temple the size of a small house, it, yeah, that's just a nightmare fuel, fuel right there. Yield! Yield! I said you, damn it! I'm gonna give up sooner or later, I just know it. Oh, there, there's the parry. Come on. I finally just keep doing gut punches. Take a hammer. Anything? Nope, nothing. Alright. Alright, I am starting to play a little recklessly here, so... I'm actually gonna have a club on me, just so that way I can use it to sacrifice and get some healing. In case I need it. I think we're good on weapons for the time being, so I don't really need to, uh... to scavenge for any more. Okay, no, that, that that's deceptive. That's background. It looks like you could jump on it, but no, you would just fall to your death. Oh, these birds. The birds are probably my most annoying enemy in the entire game, just because of the fact that they... The game loves to put these things in the worst locations, so... There's a lot of backtracking for you if you misplace your step or do a bad dodge and end up having to uh, fall off and have to retrace all your steps up there. And thankfully, guess where uh, one of those locations is located? Literally right in the next room. I also like to drop right above where you can attack them. And then they fly a bit in angle, basically ensuring that you're gonna get hit if you miss up on hitting them. Uh, where was my stone cleaver? Yeah, this thing could use a bit of a pick me up. I'm not even gonna bother with that one. 
All right, unfortunately, we got to drop out his fling for the time being and, and swing on over. And I got the time on that wrong, but oh well, at least we made over in one piece. Get some help for grit. Deal with these spearmen and get grit, grit right back to us. Probably would be nice to have. Let's get a Bowie knife and use that as our checkpoint weapon. How much want to bet the horseman's gonna show up? Yep, there he is. I swear you're stalking me. try to go for maybe two hits. Uh, three is really uh, testing your luck, unless you got enough health that you just want to tank the damage, or if you... Uh, or if you or if you just uh, think he's going to be on his last legs. There we go. We defeated him, and for doing so, what the heck is that? It looks like a... Is that supposed to be Samus? I don't know what it is because it doesn't have a name, but all right. That's right there. I know for a fact I think it's in this area of the temple. Ah, uh, yes, the skeleton archers. Basically, you gotta back them into a corner. Uh, they have a really long wind-up to their attack, so it's easy to tell where they're going to attack so you can guard against it. There it is. I think that's where I need to go. See if you can way down there. There it is. Okay, so yeah, the skeleton archers, they, you gotta back them up into... Oop. There's a way down there? Huh. I'll have to investigate that when I get back up. Uh, but basically, back them up to a corner so they can keep jumping away from your attacks, and then you can essentially just... Uh, combo them to hell, and they're pretty weak. I think it takes like maybe like two to three hits from your weapon to to kill one. I don't want to accidentally drop down into a death pit, and it's only just a weapon durability increase. We got plenty of weapons, so I don't really need it at the moment. Uh, maybe for Stonecutter. Let's break this, grab ourselves a new machete. That's, I forgot you can do that. You can actually knock the arrows right back into them to do some range damage. Grab ourselves a new hammer. I think I'm going to save this one for when it, the, uh, the checkpoint comes up, which I believe is in the next room. Grab some more grid juice. Head on up here, cut through the foliage. There is no other secret up here.
Alright, uh, so let's see. Attack up, we'll do that for the boss. Durability up, yeah, we'll sacrifice one of the hammers here. And let's get our uh, let's get the Bowie Knight for a medium heal. Break this for our attack buff, and we'll grab... Let's have some decent damage to it. The pipe? Sure, we'll, we'll lay down the lead pipe. There he is. Now, the boss himself doesn't really attack you much. Instead, he has his spear do all the dirty work. It's actually really easy to, to combo him like that. Yeah, he'll put up a shield right there and he'll shoot some fireballs occasionally, but for the most part, if you can get like a good bounce off on him, then you're 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 essentially uh, able to just combo him to hell and back. He'll summon enemies, he'll summon uh, birds, I think he summons, I don't think he summons spiders here, but he does summon dogs, so definitely be careful because the battlefield can get a little chaotic and a little uh, crowded. I think I had another clip somewhere, where is it, there it is. You can actually knock his weapon away if you can hit the skull of it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and with that, Disco saved the day. I still have no clue what that's supposed to be. I want to say Sam is just made uh, the pose of it, but it might be something else. Ah, it almost looked like we were able to grip by the by the shaft. Wait, hold on. All right, that's it. Go taken care of. Next time on Panzer Paladin, I think it's time to venture back ho home to me homeland and head off to Scotland to deal with the du uh, Dudanios. See you all then.